And we're here at the Aditeke show. Hi. Hello. So who are you? Hi, I'm Su Meng Zhu. I'm the CEO of uh, Ampsura. What is what are you doing here? Okay, so this is a sample of uh, composite flexible solid state electrolyte materials that can be used in the next generation solid state batteries. So you can make battery out of this? Yes. Um, there's a lot of talk of solid state batteries, right? What's mm -hmm. special about solid state batteries? Okay, yeah, solid state batteries, as we highlighted here, it can deliver double the energy density and uh, it has intrinsic safety features. It doesn't catch fires in EVs or consumer electronics. And with our advanced manufacturing technology, uh, we can do flexible batteries, we can do uh, low cost manufacturing, so it actually helps to reduce the manufacturing cost by 50%, while at the same time improve the energy density by 100%. So what does it mean, double the battery? Yeah, so that means double. the electric vehicle, like Tesla cars, can drive double the range. Like, double lower the range? Cost. At lower the cost. Lower the cost? Yes. Smaller size? Absolutely. How soon? Well, so we're looking at the, uh, right now, it's at very intensive R&D worldwide. And we are one of the major suppliers of these kind of uh, solid electrolyte materials. We're looking at, at the next uh, about five years, we'll see the uh, commercial product based on solid state batteries uh, on the road. Uh, actually, th there's some news that uh, Toyota will be the first company to showcase their solid state battery EVs at the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, let's see next year. Right? Um, so a lot of people working on it. And mm -hmm. uh, what is this one? Is it different? Yeah, so we, we have to develop the different recipes. Uh, this one have a lower uh, thickness, so it's a thinner. So it's a thinner solid electrolyte uh, membrane. So it's made uh, by the row-to-row -row manufacturing process, as we uh, demonstrated here from the schematics. Uh, here's a picture from our lab. Uh, it's not fully automated yet, but it shows the concept and uh, the way we would uh, integrate the solid electrolyte membrane into a battery would be an automated row-to-row uh, uh, -row manufacturing process. So we're very excited about this new technology. So you mentioned Toshiba? Uh, Toyota. Uh, uh, Toyota, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so wh who's making the cutting edge uh, most advanced solid state today? Well, Toyota is definitely the worldwide leader in solid state batteries. So Toyota, who else? Yeah. Uh, well, so we know all the major automotive OEMs are working on it. Uh, the company looks like uh, Volkswagen, BMW, and, and others. And in the US, the uh, GM and the Ford. Uh, these are all the companies we have uh, more or less collaborations with. So the solid state battery is not lithium ion? Uh, it, or can it use lithium ion? Yeah, it, it is actually still lithium ion. But it's a different way of making it? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't use the uh, liquid. Uh, traditional lithium-ion batteries use uh, liquid electrolyte. So that would allow lithium ions to travel in the liquid media. With solid state, the lithium ions would travel through the solid electrolyte. So membranes like this. Um, five years. Mm -hmm. Why not sooner? How does it get sooner? Are you a startup or? Yeah, we're a startup company. So if you get uh, some huge customer investment, mm -hmm. things can go much faster? Absolutely, yeah. So that will help us uh, as a, a major solid electrolyte materials developer to accelerate the materials development and also accelerate the manufacturing process development. So. Um, where are you based? Uh, we have an office here in Silicon Valley, and we have R&D lab based in Arizona, where uh, the, it's very dry, so it helps us with the materials production there. Dry is good? Yeah, dry air, because uh, some of the solid electrolyte materials actually don't like uh, moisture. And in general, battery manufacturing uh, doesn't like a lot of moisture in the air. And Arizona is, is dry. Just by nature, it helps. Is this one of the challenges to be fine when it's wet, in wet conditions? Or what's the main challenge mm -hmm. in the next five years or sooner to get solid state, be big? Yeah. What's so, the biggest uh, challenge? Yeah, r right now we're seeing, uh, because the solid state uh, different from the liquid-based uh, battery systems, 
it uses new materials, like solid electrolyte materials we're producing. It also requires some new manufacturing processes to integrate these new materials into the new battery designs. So there are like interface uh, challenges, manufacturability challenges, and that's why we focus on the most critical part, which is the materials itself and the manufacturing of the materials. So we can accelerate this uh, commercialization process. And 10 times faster charging, really? Yep, so that's based on a, a patent pending technology we have filed uh, with the US Patent Office. Uh, we have developed a, a proprietary technology that would allow the lithium ions to transfer more than 10 times faster. So that would allow the battery cell to be charged and discharged 10 times faster. And when you say battery cost less than $100 per kilowatt hour, mm -hmm. what is it now, a battery cost yeah, now, currently? Now it's more or less a bit, uh, anywhere between $150 and $200 per kilowatt hours. So you're talking half price, kind of? Yeah. yeah. All and, right. And that, that's the goal set by the U.S. Department of Energy to be achieved in the next uh, five or ten years. How, does it, how can you be a drop-in? Mm -hmm. to the existing infrastructure? Yeah, gr great question. Yeah, so we, we call it drop in because, because we, we have developed this row-to-row uh, -row manufacturing process. So now our technology would allow us to use the new solid electrolyte materials and fit into the existing production line without changing a lot of the manufacturing facilities. So that, that's why we call it a drop in Is this how it looks? In the manufacturing, is this the stuff that will be happening? Yeah, so that, that just shows the concept, and that's the picture from our lab. Uh, this is a, a, like a picture to show uh, how it would be uh, used in the manufacturing floor. How is this uh, ID Tech X show for you? Oh, well, th this is a great event. It, it's, a, it's a show to bring together a lot of the technology companies and a lot of the Visitors uh, to the show floor are uh, companies that we would want to work with, either customers or collaborators, or some are even uh, investors coming from Silicon Valley.